Hey y'all, this is Sergeant Dan with Palmetto Edge, and I've got a review for you today of this knife right here. This is the, what's this one called again? <laughs> the Flash, Flash AT, come on focus, Flash AT from Sog Knives. So let me get you, let me get you a close up on it. And just a heads up, my daughter insisted on being in here with me while I recorded this video. So if you hear any commotion in the background, it's probably going to be her. And that's not an okay to be making noise either there, sweetie. <laughs> All right. So uh, there was your close-up. Let me get you a... Uh, Size comparisons. So there it is up against the... What's that called? Benchmade Bug Out. I'm forgetting the names of all my knives now. There it is up against the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. So as you can see, definitely bigger than the... Sorry, definitely bigger than the Bug Out. And just about the same size as the Paramilitary 2. Might even be just a little... A hair bigger than it, but not really by much, so... Let's get these out of the way and uh, talk about, uh, dang, what am I trying to say now, guys? Sorry, I'm having a hard time, having a difficult time this time around. Um, mm, specifications, y'all. Gee whiz, this is going to be a rough video. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so, specifications on this thing, which I'm getting straight from SOG because that's who I got all these all these SOG knives from. Um, so specifications, overall length is 8.29 inches with a blade length of 3.45 inches. Weight is 4.49 ounces. It is, which side's it on? This side, cryo, cryo, there it is, cryo D2 steel. Um, uh, let's see, GRN handles, which is glass reinforced nylon, which is a fancy plastic. Um... Let's see, titanium nitride coating on the blade. The pocket clip is a deep carry, very deep carry pocket clip. And it is reversible, so right or left, uh, left hand tip up only. And one thing that I have neglected to note with all of the other SOG reviews that I've done with their new knives that I'm going to point out on this one is due to the pocket clip being able to be put on either side, these are completely ambidextrous. So if you are a lefty, this can be a left-handed, 100% left-handed knife for you. Um, and uh, let's see. So this is assisted open. Assisted open on this one. Meaning it's got that spring in there that all you got to do is push on it a little and boom, it pops open for you. It's got a safety on here. Okay. Uh, stainless steel liners. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, it does utilize their XR lock, so if you're unfamiliar with what that is, it's just SOG's version of the Benchmade Axis lock. Um, made in Taiwan on this one, so definitely not made in USA, which I, I find unfortunate with how good most of these knives are, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, so, let's get into review of this one. Uh, so, SOG's intent on this knife is to be a... Uh, daily carry knife and that's that's exactly what I think the category is that this falls into this is just a good kind of bigger EDC knife um, by bigger I mean there's definitely huge knives out there and there's definitely smaller knives out there so this is a good kind of on the big size big bigger medium size of an EDC blade um, fits great in hand um, it doesn't have really aggressive texturing which you know being an EDC I wouldn't expect it to okay so I'm not complaining about that just pointing it out it does have these kind of diagonal grooves in it here that help with you know getting a little bit of traction it's got jimping up on the spine here that helps with that um, got this little finger choil here that helps with that along with this uh, little finger area here okay I mean it feels absolutely wonderful in hand it's uh, it's thick. I didn't do my thickness comparison, okay, but it's it's a thick one. Uh, definitely thicker than the bug out. 
and uh, not including this really sticky outy pocket clip on the paramilitary 2 uh, it's even a little thicker than the paramilitary 2 there okay so uh, that's one thing about all these newer SOG knives they're all thick but that's not necessarily a bad thing in my opinion as a matter of fact with this one it feels absolutely wonderful in hand I think it's great I think the thickness is wonderful I think it's it's width thickness whatever in this dimension is great um, this one is just designed really really well to be in your hand and doing work um, this blade shape is wonderful uh, you got this flat area here this big belly comes up to a great tip here uh, just just a really wonderful EDC uh, blade shape on here um, one thing I will point out the the FRN on this one uh, as compared to the the Trident uh, AT it it's it's got uh, um, I guess for lack of a better way of putting it a cheaper feel um, it's it just feels real plasticky and kind of has that sound I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up or not but just kind of has that cheap plasticky sound uh, I mean I guess that's to be expected that's really what it is is a plastic I know it's a higher end plastic okay FRN's better than just I don't know just your standard plastic stuff but but it still has that um, kind of sound and feel to it and I think part of that has to do with uh, I can't confirm this because I haven't taken scales off and I'm not gonna do it and I'm not about to do it now but I think there's some hollowness in there and that's kind of what helps contribute to that sound um, let's see blade centering on this one this one it's not perfect it's kinda leaning a little toward the show side here but it's it's not a big deal it's not scrubbing on anything um, blade play is non-existent in any direction uh, I mean it's lockup is good and solid I don't worry about that one bit um, it's got the locking mechanism up here just like the trident did does whatever and it works of course I mean when it's locked it's locked when it's unlocked it opens it's totally unobtrusive that was one of my concerns with these with these knives here from SOG the 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 assisted open ones was the uh, what are these called the locks on the top that was one of my concerns with them I was afraid man that's gonna dig into my hand so bad it really doesn't they've got them placed perfectly uh, they're so small that you don't even really notice them if you are up on them uh, really really great as far as that goes this thing is super easy, super easy in and out of the pocket. Um, and this deep carry pocket clip lets it sit all the way down in there. So the only thing showing is this little thing with the SOG on it here. Um, let's see. These come in several different colors. They I got the urban gray, but they come in a blue. Uh, I think they might come in a black too. Let me Let me look real quick just to see. Let's see, I see black, urban gray, blue. Yep, so the, these come in all kinds of configurations too. Uh, serrated, non-serrated. Um, I'd got the non-serrated on this one because it's intended to be an EDC. If it were, oops, sorry, bumped the camera off. If it were going to be a tactical one, I might would have got the serrations on it. But uh, with it being just an EDC, I opted for no serrations. Uh, this is a really pretty color gray too. I hope the camera's picking it up good. Um really like that um, uh, let's see I've said it many times before and I'll say it again I like assisted open knives uh, or, or at least I have no issue with them and this one's a really good assisted open um, one thing I'll say about this one that I've said about every other one so far they have a break-in period they come a little little gritty little uh, grindy gritty uh, not not necessarily that smooth and they all have a break-in period. It will eventually go away. Um, keeping it lubricated a little helps with that. Uh, but it's it has definitely smoothed out. Not that it was really bad to begin with, but it has smoothed out. Um, so, yeah, just a really, really good basic EDC knife. Um, let's see, do I have any complaints about it? 
major complaints? No, not really. I mean, I, I told you about the GFN here feeling, sounding and feeling a little cheap, but uh, it, that's not that big of a deal. Um, so, yeah, that's 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 it as far as review, y'all. So let's talk about price on this one. Uh, price on this one. Come here, come here, come here. Show everybody your favorite knife. My daughter has my favorite, her favorite knife of mine here. What is it? A rainbow knife. A rainbow what? Mermaid knife. Uh, that's right. The the goddess herself, the Boker Magnum Rainbow Mermaid. Here you go. And my other favorite one is this one. Yeah, that's one of my favorites too. Yeah, this is one of her other favorites here. This is, this was her great grandpa's knife, old Buck One Ten from the from the seventies or so. This is this is a knife that uh, definitely has tons and tons of sentimental value. So here you go. Here, here. Okay, all right. Sorry about that interruption, y'all. I told you it was going to happen. I gave you fair warning, <laughs> but it's fun. Hey, it's my daughter. I love her. Um, price on this thing, $75. I think that's a really fair price um, for what you're getting here. Uh, of course, there's all kinds of options in that price range. So I, I know somebody's going to point out, I know somebody's going to point out that, well, yeah, that you could get this for that price. Though. You could get this, you could get this for that price too, though. Yeah, I get that, but I'm just saying that this is another one within that price range that I think the price is fair and it's a good quality option for you. Um uh, let's see, one thing I didn't point out, Cryo D2. Man, guys, SOG knows what they're doing with their D2. This is some good stuff, okay? Um, so, $75 price. I think that's more than fair. Um, or, well, maybe not more than fair, but that's absolutely a fair price on this one. I'm happy I got it. It's been a good, just standard EDC knife for me. Uh, would I get it again? Just based on, Just based off of this knife alone. Yes, uh, but I've got so many, I've got so many knives, so many other knives that fit into that EDC category that if something happened to this one, I probably personally wouldn't replace it, but it would be worth replacing if if, if you get what I'm saying. So uh, there it is, guys, the SOG, what's this one called? The Flash? Oh man, I, I'm forgetting everything right now. The SOG Flash AT. Um, it's a good knife, guys. It's, it really is. Uh, so... Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Instagram. It's at Palmetto Edge. Uh, go check out my other videos on this channel. If you like what you see, subscribe. And thank y'all again for watching. You want to tell everybody bye? Yeah. Well, tell them. Say bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good one.